right, so the value for the depth, uh, it's about 0 0.039. 898 um, the methods everything's fine here um, I'm going to put definitions you can actually set fluent to save uh, some results at each and every iteration uh, so we'll try to save the mass flow uh, at the oil and water at the water and oil outlets for every iteration so for that we right click there new uh, surface report mass flow rate and then so for the first one is uh, let's say that as oil in water outlet and then we uh, create uh, a report file what we want there is the oil in the water outlet and that's okay now we do the same thing for the water in the oil outlet surface report mass flow rate so now this one is water in the oil outlet. Got the water in the oil outlet. Make sure you cl uh, click on that. Uh, so you want uh, a file to be created, and then click on OK. Right. Um, the next thing is the initialization. We initialize uh, from the inlet, setting that to zero as well as the water volume fraction initialize so now the vessel uh, it's empty you just have air in there now in order to set in the levels uh, you go on to adapt region right so the x for the x coordinates that's from zero which is somewhere there up to where you have your wire for this case i think it's about two two fifty and then the uh, y coordinate will be from minus 20 up to a height of um, say 80 millimeters then mark uh, we do the same thing for the the oil on top which would be then from 80 to 150 which is the height of the wire mark that and then the next thing is the liquid level or rather the oil level after the wire which Start from 2, 2, say 5, 5 to the end of the vessel, 2, 4, uh, from minus 20 to a height of 80. Mark, you can then see those uh, uh, different areas that you've marked. Uh, click on that display. So that's the oil, that's what we want uh, to be the oil as well as the second there. That's the oil on top of the water, and then the water would be at the bottom. So the water would be R0. Now if you close that and go to patch, we can actually patch the uh, separator to have water at that level there. And then the two other uh, levels we've marked to be filled with oil. Close. So we can actually see that through the contours. Um, that's the faces and we could check either of the three faces filled display so what this showing is that right when you start your uh, calculations you have a vessel that's filled with water to the half of the wire and then you have oil on top of that and then more oil over the, uh, the wire so we close that um, the next thing is the um, run calculation there. So you can choose, I usually use variable, uh, and then choose a very small time step size. Start with that, and then the number of time steps you can choose. Uh, I don't know, any, any number. But what actually matters is that time step size multiplied by that number of time step uh, number of time steps will actually give you the simulated uh, time right so if we calculate that it's going to take a while 